Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a day in the life with three golden doodles. So if you're new here, I do have three golden doodles, Indy, Jagger, and Harlow. And first things first, when we start our day, we automatically go outside to use the potty after sleeping in a little bit on the weekends. And then as you see here, Jagger and Harlow like to play a little bit of chase. They really enjoy running around and getting all that energy out in the mornings. And then we head in and I go ahead and make the dogs breakfast. So for breakfast, we just do simple kibble. It's really easy for us to do during the week when we're rushing to get to work. So I also am going to fill up their water because our dogs drink a ton of water throughout the day because we are constantly going outside and playing. So I will give them some water and then fill up both the bowls I will put in adult food as well as Harlow's puppy food. Normally Harlow eats it um, pretty immediately. She eats her puppy food, but Indy and Jagger do like to kind of graze throughout the day. see the dogs just hanging out as I get ready. They are super clingy and are always right by my side while I'm getting ready for the day. I normally only leave the dogs during the weekend like once a day just because we are gone throughout the week at work even though I do come home for a lunch break and they get that time out of the kennel. But for this instance I did have a pedicure appointment so I went ahead and put Harlow in her crate. As you can see she wasn't too thrilled about it and then we put Indy and Jagger back in our laundry room. So none of our dogs get free reign in the house. Um, Harlow is crated and then Indy and Jagger like I said get put back here so they have a little bit more space and they like to be together. But I don't let my dogs have free reign in the house and I don't recommend that anyone does. I don't care how well trained your dog is. In my opinion, they can always get into something. So we like to keep them confined to a certain area for their safety and our wallets. Once I get back home, I go ahead and let the dogs out of their little confined areas and Harlow out of her crate and let them outside for another play sesh. During the weekends, when especially when it's really pretty, I like to get the dogs out multiple times a day to play fetch and to just run around and be dogs because they genuinely enjoy it so much and it's very rare that they get to do it literally all day. Comment down below if your dogs like playing frisbee. Our dogs literally are the biggest fetchers. Frisbee, ball, anything, you name it, they'll fetch it. It's seriously one of their favorite activities and I think they could do it until their heart gave out. Then we headed back in for some much needed water. On this particular Saturday, it was extremely hot, so I like to keep the dog's play session productive, but also pretty short so they don't get overheated. And then they also came in and played a little bit more with some of their toys that they have in the house. Finally, while the dogs got some rest, I ate some lunch, and as you can see, Indy was very intrigued and really wanted a bite. So Saturdays are our grooming slash bath days. On this particular Saturday, the dogs didn't need a bath because they had all previously been to the groomer like two weeks prior, and they really weren't dirty yet enough for a bath, but we did go ahead and brush everyone out. So we go ahead and brush everyone out every single Saturday. We do it during the week too if it's needed, but for the most part, our dogs have pretty easy to maintain doodle coats because we keep them fairly short during the summertime. So I just give them all a really good brush out with our paddle brush and then go through their 
more um, tangle prone areas with a comb. As you can see here, Indy loves to lay down while she gets brushed, especially with that big old pregnant belly. She is one of our easiest to groom. She literally will fall asleep while I'm grooming her. So Saturdays are definitely our big grooming slash bath days here. So once I finished brushing everyone, I went ahead and cleaned their ears. Doodles are really prone to ear infections, so I make sure to clean their ears out weekly as well as brush their teeth. It is a very important thing when owning a dog that you also make sure to take care of their teeth. It can cause a lot of issues in the long run if you don't be proactive and brush their teeth or even provide them with toys or treats that aid in cleaning their teeth for them. So that is also a part of our weekly grooming slash maintenance routine. So once everyone is groomed, teeth brushed, ears clean, I went ahead and got our Instagram picture for the day. So today I chose to take a picture of our two girls, Indy and Harlow, together. And for the most part, my dogs are really good at posing for photos. They're honestly so used to it that it's nothing to them. So if you don't already, make sure to go follow us on our Instagram at Doodles. Then after all that and posing for photos, everyone laid down on the couch and relaxed for a little bit and then Indy and Jagger eventually got up because they saw me sitting on the floor and wanted to sit in my lap. But this time of the day, it was time for us all to relax and enjoy some quiet time. On this particular Saturday, Matt also had to work. So here the dogs are realizing that their daddy is home from work. They get super, super excited when he comes home from work. And I thought this was a cute little add to their day because you can see how excited they get when one of us come home, specifically their daddy, the sweet one, the fun one, the one that doesn't discipline. <laughs> their little tail wags are seriously the cutest. You can see here Jagger went out of frame, but he is notorious for taking one of our shoes or a toy and bringing it to us when we come home. Comment down below if any of your dogs do that because I think it is just so funny. It's like he's saying, here, I brought you something. Welcome home. Then since dad was home, it was time once again for us to head outside and play ball and frisbee. Again, as you can see, like I said, when it's a pretty Saturday and we have the free time, I like to get the dogs outside to run around and play as much as often because it's so good for them and they truly love being outside. Before we knew it, the end of the day was approaching and it was time to make the dogs dinner. So here I am giving Jagger his food in a bowl. He eats our adult food and then Indy is currently on puppy food since she is pregnant and then Harlow is eating puppy food as well. If you're interested to know, we do feed our dogs the Purina Pro Plan. Um, the older dogs get the salmon and rice or lamb and rice and then Harlow is on the chicken and rice large breed puppy formula. So dinner time is when we really like to jazz up our dog's kibble. So as you can see here, I am adding an egg to each of their bowls. We get eggs right out of our chicken coop. So they are really good for our dogs and they truly love when we add them to their food. They get one every single night. So then I go ahead and head to the fridge and get the dogs plain yogurt and pumpkin. And we do add both of these things to their kibble as well as some water. So we heat up water in the microwave for a minute and then pour it over the kibble to rehydrate their kibble. So kibble is dehydrated and if you rehydrate it with just a little bit of water, I promise your dog will be so much more interested just with that simple step. But here we are adding all their toppings to their kibble and this makes them so excited for dinner time.
Lastly, I add Indy's prenatal. Since she is pregnant, she gets the Oxymate prenatal vitamin. And then I also finish off their kibble with some frozen green beans. These are literally some of their favorites and especially during the hot summer months, it makes for a great treat. And then some salmon oil for their skin and coat. And here is the final product. As you can see here, the dogs absolutely love it and they eat all their food in one sitting. I was that person that just put food in their bowls and just let them eat off of it all day, but now they are so much more interested in their food and so excited to eat dinner. So if you definitely still want to feed kibble for the convenience, but want to make your dog more excited about their meals, I definitely recommend adding on different toppers. A couple other things we like to use that we didn't show in this video are sardines, um, boiled chicken and rice, things like that. And lastly, to go ahead and finish off the night with the dogs, we went ahead and played outside for another solid 30 minutes probably. They also used the bathroom for the last time before we go to bed and just ran around and fetched some ball. They truly love it so much. It's so fun to just sit back there, watch the sunset, and watch them run around and enjoy their life. I also went ahead and brought some treats outside for the dogs and worked on some of their commands. As you can see, Indy was super duper ready and Harlow was literally still running around playing fetch with dad in the background. And as you can see here, I'm about to put them in a stay and they keep checking back looking at their dad and Harlow running around. But for the most part, they're very good at their stay and they hardly break it without a release command. So I like doing this every now and then just to make sure they are really good at their basic commands. Also, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a shot of Indy's little pregnant belly. Look how cute. We literally are expecting puppies in like two and a half weeks. Finally, it is time for us all to get in bed. The dogs sleep in our bedroom with us, either on the bed or on the floor. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. This is definitely not what we do every single day, but we really try to put our dogs number one in our life and spend as much time as possible with them. See you guys in our next video.